Banwa of Oron, Palawan, the Bugalot and Igorot of Nuevo Vizcaya, and the Manobo of Mount Apo all have stories to tell. Everyone is impoverished peoples up against a far more powerful forces, mining in Nuevo Vizcaya, master using in Palawan, and a geothermal project on Mount Apo. In all of these regions, the survival of indigenous communities is being threatened by business companies and government agencies, as well as the markets and the country's every increasing involvement. The indigenous people of the Philippine story is one of the flaws. Many of them have been evicted from the land, their culture has been destroyed, and their forests and oceans have been exploited by strangers. Some tribes are on the verge of extinction because the land and trees that support people have been stolen by strangers. But their story is not just a story of sorrow and grief. It is also a story of redemption and perseverance. They discovered people who were actively invested with the world outside, fighting and negotiating, continuously innovating as they work to improve the terms of their relationship with the world somewhere else in every place they visited. I realized the value of culture and memory in reviving communities that had previously been on the verge of destruction and misery. This documentary portrays tribal groups not as victims, but as victorious in the fight to preserve their territory and way of life. This film provides expression to indigenous people's aspiration that they will be able to experience the memories of their dance, not on a television screen or in a museum, but with the soles of their feet, firmly feeling the hallowed ground that has been their ancestors' homelands in Asia since ancient times. There are estimated 5 million indigenous people in the Philippines and the centuries, their history is in harmony with nature. Nature has contributed a lot in their lives. The sea and the forest helps them to survive. And it makes me sad that their riches is really getting out of their grass because people outside wanted the forest so, forth, so much for their own good, for their own project and business. Coron Island is a very beautiful place and the island is a source of food and income to the people. The island has a thousands of stories to tell and the history of the Tagbanwas is engraved there. The people there become dependent to the nature because the nature is what kept them alive. During that time, people are not using destructive fishing methods like hooks and spears and it's a good thing. They are not the ones who are destroying the nature. It's the outsiders, that's why they are alarmed about it. People are destroying the coral reefs, coral reefs. They are using dynamites, explosive, and cyanide when fishing. It's a good thing to hear that people experience good things in a tribe when they are still children, but it also makes me sad because now, it's only just a dream. They are dreaming and hoping that one day it would happen again.